And now to the city of West Haven, which also did not escape the wrath of Irene. They are still cleaning up there as well, including at one of the most popular spots along that beach. News 8's Annie Rourke is on the scene with a look. Chick's drive-in has stood on this spot in West Haven since 1950. It is still standing, but it did take quite a beating. They're working around the clock. Got a crew in here, about uh, 25 people working. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been, been a little rough. But the power's back on, these panels are being replaced, that smashed door is next, and it's better than it was. They had two feet of standing water here. I've been here 60 years, and I, I would say this is the worst uh, I've been through a lot of hurricanes. Across the street, huge mounds of sand. The city is trying to reconstruct the beach here and the ripped up sidewalk, but up the street, it is far worse. Three beautiful oaks behind this house, now on the house. I looked out my back porch and saw it leaning, and I just grabbed the dog and ran out the front door. But it was the flooding here that was really bad. It backed up the drains. Water just started coming out of my toilet and the shower, and it was all sewage water. Michael Hood had no time. He lost everything. I've managed to save a couple outfits, and that's it. Across town, the Sirs are still in their home, but barely. High voltage electrical lines snapped off and burned, really burned, everything here actually melted the ground and turned into gl uh, glass. The family was trapped inside. They had to be rescued by firefighters. We couldn't come out through the front, either none of the houses here. So we had to actually go all the way up to the other side and come out. Because it was an electrical fire, they couldn't put water on it. The lines should have automatically shut off, but didn't. They had to call UI. That took time. This is the result. The fence destroyed. The mailbox melted. The siding of the house drooping off, and the cars burned all the way down to the metal. It's just really shocking to see a car like this. I used to drive both of these cars, and they're all like totaled. Again, Chicks hopes to reopen on Wednesday. The rest of us will probably take a little bit longer. On the scene in West Haven, Annie Rourke, News 8.